A fairly recent introduction into Lake Tahoe has been the Asian clam. Clams were first discovered in Lake Tahoe in 2002, and they were observed at very low densities. But in 2008, researchers from UC Davis Turk noticed large abundances of clam shells in the same area. In this jar, there are about a thousand Asian clam. In places where there are high density Asian clam beds in the lake, it ranges from about three to 5,000 clams per meter squared. And what we've seen are these large explosions of the Asian clam population-wise in the bottom of the lake. There's vast areas of dead shells, and underneath that are many, many thousands of live clams. Forward. Good. Pull backwards. We've been fortunate here at Lake Tahoe to have access to an autonomous underwater vehicle. One, two, three. The purpose of the Gavia coming to Lake Tahoe was specifically to look for where the clams are and to what extent they surround the lake. With this underwater camera that the Gavia has, we were able to get actual images of the bottom and determine whether or not there are clams on the bottom of Lake Tahoe. Well, we've already found out stuff. Just in the first couple of days, uh, we found clams in other areas that hadn't previously been discovered, as well as clams deeper down than had previously been discovered. This is the typical size for an Asian clam. Um, it's pretty small. So I would say this is maybe about the size of a dime or maybe a nickel. Our largest clam in Lake Tahoe gets to be about the size of a quarter. They have a, a big muscle, which is called a foot, and this foot allows them to move around. We call this the clam pilot treatment experiment. This is the location that has the highest density of clams, and it's also where we've spent the most amount of time studying the clam populations to this point. We're trying to cause clam mortality by reducing the amount of oxygen that they have, so essentially by suffocating them. What we've done is to experiment with laying over bottom barriers on top of the clams. If I go to an area where we don't have clams, Tahoe looks very different. There is clean, white, granitic sands reflecting sunlight. The water is bright blue, there's no algae. Really, it's an entirely different ecosystem where we have clams in Tahoe compared to where we don't. We have the clams excreting the nutrients into the, into the water just above the sediment. This is great fertilizer for algae. There's numerous crayfish here. In an open sand area, normally you wouldn't see crayfish. There's not enough protection for them. But here, they're actually hiding under the algal mats, and there's so much algae there that they can feed on. They're thriving. The barriers seem to be doing what we want them to do, which is killing clams. Um, and so our data so far has shown clams are definitely being stressed out by the reduction of oxygen, and they're also dying because of this reduction of oxygen. And so whether or not 100% of them die or not, we'll see that at the end of the experiment. But until now, it's looking good.